What's up, Film Jammers? Today, we're taking a look at how to live stream video. We've got a quick and easy setup that we're gonna walk you through. I was never much of a live streamer myself, but our clients now are expecting us to offer live streaming services so that they can produce and direct remotely. This seems to be the new normal. So we're gonna show you how to set up a live video stream right from your home and what gear you need to get started. Activate live stream number one. <laughs> Over the last few months, we've had a few different clients that didn't want to travel or fly into Florida, but they had their interview subject in town. So we put together a live video streaming setup in our studio so that they could direct remotely from New York and LA. And we even had one client from Paris. Were they eating beignets while they were directing? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. So we still got to work. They didn't have to travel. It's a win-win for everybody except for the airline companies. <laughs> We're going to start off with the equipment that you'll need to do a live stream. We'll also put links below this video in the description in case you're looking to buy. Web streaming software. We've been using Zoom on our projects and it's worked really well for us. Zoom has a free version that lets you stream to one other person. And if you want to do two or more streams, you'll need to pay $14.99 per month, which is a small price to pay for multiple glorious streams. Mm. You're going to need a computer to run that streaming software. And most modern computers today will work. We're using a standard MacBook Pro. a web streaming mixer. There are a lot of options out there, but the most robust one that we've tested is the Blackmagic ATEM Mini. It's $295 and it has been really solid. We did an eight hour stream the other day and had no issues with it. Pretty magical, pretty streamerific. The ATEM Mini lets you switch between four different cameras, but in most of our projects, we've just been using one camera. This lets our clients see exactly what we're seeing through the camera, a camera. We recommend using a camera that has HDMI outputs because the ATM Mini has HDMI inputs. You can also use a converter if you have SDI out on your camera, but HDMI is the simplest to get started and that's what we recommend. We're using a mirrorless camera in our setup, the Canon EOS R, which is around $1,500, but any camera that has HDMI out should work. Cables, you'll need an HDMI cable to connect your camera to the ATEM switcher. And you'll also need a USB-C cable to connect your ATEM Mini to your computer. So those are the five basic items to get you live streaming video. If you already have a laptop and a camera, you won't need much else aside from the Zoom software, the Blackmagic ATEM switcher, and a few cables. A few optional items that we recommend for live video streaming that will get you even better quality are a microphone and some lighting. For your microphone input, the ATEM Mini has an eighth inch audio import. So you can use most vlogging microphones to get even better sound quality than what your laptop microphone has. For lighting, we recommend using a small light that you can set up in front of your subject to separate them from the background and to avoid shadows. We're using just a single two foot Quasar crossfade light, which makes a pretty big difference using just one single light. And remember, we've got links below where you can check out these items if you're looking to invest in your streaming career. Even better than investing in Amazon 10 years ago. Hmm. Hmm. Setting up the actual live streaming video is actually pretty simple. First, you'll rig up your camera and find an angle that you like. I always like picking an angle that has some depth to the shot. Then you'll hook your camera into the Blackmagic ATEM Mini with an HDMI cable. Once you're hooked in there, connect the ATEM Mini to your computer with a USB-C cable. Now you should have all your cables connected. Next, open up your streaming software on your computer. Again, we're using Zoom. Once you have Zoom open, you'll start a new meeting and then select Start Video from the option on the bottom of the screen. And from here, you can select between the web camera on your laptop or the Blackmagic ATEM Mini. Select the Blackmagic. Once you do that, you should now see a live view in the streaming software of what your camera is seeing. Oh yeah, streaming live. The last step is to invite people to your meeting. Call up Aunt Lucy or Uncle Wally up in Iowa and say hello. Hi, Aunt Lucy. I'm live streaming. 
All right, I hope seeing our live streaming setup was helpful. If you have any questions while you're setting it up, please reach out, let us know down in the comments. We'll try to help. I'm Christian with Film Jams, and if you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing to our little channel. We need you. Film Jamma Wan Kenobi. You are only hope. <laughs>